Pinot is shattered. His tour finishes in a car. A sporting tragedy written on the roads of France. I sense that since Sunday in the Pyrenees that I was capable of doing it. Without that, I was sure I'd have done it. I was totally convinced nothing could happen to me. Now we'll never know. He has opened up the gap. Egan Bernal, the longer this climb is, the better it is for the Colombian. We are forced to stop the stage. We are They're stopping the stage immediately, coming over race radio. Incredible scenes here. They're riding on dry roads. The riders will not yet understand why they have taken this decision. It's something I've been dreaming of. <laughs> Today, stage 20 was completely shaken up. Following storms, certain roads weren't usable and so the route was modified. No longer 130 kilometers, instead just 59 kilometers to be covered on the stage. The start's still in Albeville, but then the peloton heading directly towards Moutier before the final climb to Val Torrance. At the foot of the climb, the leading group number 29. They're chancing their arm and it's difficult to build the gap. The SKPs with a two-minute advantage. 30 kilometers from the finish, we find Pierre-Luc Perichon, Vincenzo Nibali and Ilnio Zakarin. The pursuers hang in there like Thomas de Hent, who counter-attacks. In the peloton, the Jumbo Visma are accelerating, working for Steven Krauswijk, who has podium desires. Yellow jersey Igan Bernal again loses a lot of teammates when the first efforts are needed in the climb towards Valterance. At the front, Tony Gallopin has joined the leading group, accompanied by Michael Woods. Pierre-Luc Perichon gives it all he has. 18 kilometers from the finish, Omar Frele, the Astana rider, manages to ride up to the leading group. They're now six at the front, but the gap falls as Laurence de Plus puts the hammer down in the peloton. The escape group still has a minute advantage, only 13 kilometers from the summit. It is now that Julien Alaphilippe cracks. The closing kilometers would prove long for him, his podium hopes gone. Vincenzo Nibali has had a tough tour, but 12 kilometers from the finish, he flies off on his own. Nobody manages to catch Nibali in the final climb. The tempo of the favourites is difficult to follow. All attempts are thwarted by the yellow jersey group with Ineos shutting the race down. The last to try his luck two kilometres out is Mikel Londa. But Nibali would not be caught. Finally, it is the shark of Messina who strikes at Val Turin as Nibali gets his win. Second goes to the world champion Valverde, third to another movie star rider Landa. The two big winners on the day, Egan Bernal and Geraint Thomas, cross the line hand in hand. For me, it's been a difficult tour. The last kilometers seemed like they were never ending. But at the end, it was a great liberation for me to lift my arms on the tour, and it makes me supremely happy. On this shortened stage, Team Ineos were in an armchair, and the other teams battling it out for the podium led the favorites group to the Valterin summit. As for Vincenzo Nibali, well, he didn't hang about and after so much suffering on the tour, he made the most of the reduced stage to score his sixth success at the tour, the 2014 champion saving his tour before the finish in Paris. In the general classification, Egan Bernal still leads after claiming the jersey yesterday at the summit of Iseron. Second now is Geraint Thomas, followed by Stephen Krauswijk. After fighting hard, Julien Alaphilippe hung on in the top five of the Tour de France. Warren Barguil joins him in the top ten after the final mountain stage. No changes in the green jersey that will be won by Peter Sagan come the evening of the 21st stage. Roman Bardet profited from the attitude of the favourites to keep the polka dot jersey. The AG2 Arla Mondial rider will win the jersey for the first time at the Tour. It's a double for Egan Bernal, also claiming his first white jersey at the Tour de France. This in the same year as his first yellow jersey barring catastrophe on Sunday. And it will be the young Colombian who will win the 2019 Tour.